School Around the World What is it like to go to school in another country? How is it the same as going to school in our country? How is it different? Children go to school to learn. That is true all around the world. In many ways, schools everywhere are alike. Children learn from teachers. They learn how to read and write. They learn math. But school is different in some ways for children in other parts of the world. Kids may get to school in a different way. Walking and riding a bus are common ways to get to school in the United States. But in other places, children may take a boat to and from school. Lake Titicaca in Peru is one of those places. The children in this picture live on islands in the lake. The children take a boat from one island to another to get to school. At the end of the day, the children take the boat back home again. Writing is one of the most important subjects kids learn in school. The words we write are made up of letters. The English alphabet has 26 letters. In China, children learn a special kind of writing called calligraphy. That means beautiful writing. The children write using a brush and ink, but they don't make letters. Instead, they make marks called characters. A character stands for part of a word or a whole word. The girl in the picture practices writing characters. There are many characters in the Chinese language. Some Chinese people can write about 4,000 characters. How do children learn to write all those characters? First, they learn to make the lines in each character. Then, they practice writing the characters. Another important subject in school is math, the study of numbers. No one knows exactly when the first math ideas were invented. Long ago, people started counting on their fingers or by making marks on the ground. Some early people used small objects to help them count. The objects were made from clay. The shape of the object meant a number. A stick shape might be one. A round pebble shape might be ten. Children today still use objects to help them count. The children in the picture are using signs to help them count by tens. Their school is in Uganda. The children are holding signs with numbers written on them. They will arrange themselves so that the numbers are in the proper order. The numbers on the blackboard go up to 50. This helps the children see how counting by tens helps you get to bigger numbers. All around the world, recess is a favorite part of the school day. Recess gives children a break from work. They can move around and have fun. Children who have a recess break study better and learn more. In warm places, children can go outdoors for recess most of the time. The children in the big picture go to school in northern Vietnam. They like to play on a swing at recess. The swing is made of a long piece of wood. Two children can sit on it while other children push the swing. When is it too cold to go outside for recess? The answer to that question depends on where kids live. Teachers recognize how important recess is. They think about what their students are used to and how comfortable they will be outdoors. Children in Alaska are used to cold weather. In many schools in Alaska, if the air is warmer than 20 degrees below zero, then recess is outside. The kids in the smaller picture live in Alaska. They are playing basketball in the snow.